Okay, here's the finish box. Sorry, I forgot to bring the camera down and film it between coats and everything. I didn't want to wreck my brand new camera. So, I uh, took some pictures with the cell phone, so I'll try to splice those in. But, I just have to untape the handle. That's cracked leather, so I'm probably going to wrap it. Oops. Knocking over stuff. I'm going to wrap it with something. Probably get like a steering wheel leather wrap or something. You know, it could just be tape. Not too picky. Like, everybody just leaves the lid up. So you're never going to see it anyways. So, tomorrow, when it's all dry, I'll felt it. I didn't paint inside the box and the, and the drawers there on the sides. I was gonna, but this textured paint is so thick. And, um, you know, I was worried that I was gonna have enough anyways. I went through uh, three cans to get the even texture. It took a lot more than I thought, so if I went with the um, side of the drawers, I was gonna Take the chance of running out or have uneven coats. So I got a pretty good, it's a multi coat, like a speckle paint. Try to, you know, light dark brown, some black, some gray. So to get a good, even texture, you really have to, um, light, light coats, lots of coats from far away. Like, a you know, the, you know, the spray can was probably 18 inches away, the final coat. So it came out pretty good. I mean, this thing, you know, I've had the before pictures hopefully posted here. It was a piece of junk box. So that came out pretty good here. Put my light down. Uh, yeah, I got, I pre-cut some felt for the smaller drawers. So those all should be able to go in tomorrow. I had to order another package. Because I would have been, of course, one short. One low piece short. And I could have spliced in the pieces here. To, but I figure for 10 more bucks, just get another package. In the very top of the box. And go with the thicker. I had this stuff laying around. I wish I had the darker brown or black. But I had this laying around. It's nice thick. So I'm going to put that on the top of the box. Fits perfectly, you know. Just have to trim the length, but it just slides right in there, so that's going to be a nice thing. I use that up there, so that's the box. I cheated, I just painted the front of the drop poles, I didn't take them off. It's the plastic uh, handle, so I didn't want to take the chance of trying to bend the tabs to pull the handles off. So I just painted it, then I just uh, used a sponge brush to um, paint the handles. I just polished up the hardware as best as I could. It was all 100% rust. There's the number. I'll get a light on that here. Yeah. One of the best lights out there. If you're looking for lights, the Ryobi. I love the Ryobi stuff because it's just inexpensive and I got all the batteries. But this one light is killer. So, I'm going to have to tilt you sideways there. Okay. Zoom in here. I can zoom in. It's number 520 candy kits. So that's the box. Shut down the light. Zoom you back out. So that's it. I'm going to splice this video together. Well, I have to still do the felt tomorrow, so I'll do the felt. Then hopefully I should be able to record that if I remember because there's no spray paint involved. Well, there's a little spray adhesive, but. So I'll bring you back. Have a good one. Okay, we're back. 
Candy 520 boxes. Almost complete. Let's see, the paint job came out pretty good, pretty even. It's a multi textured color paint, so it took quite a bit to um, get it right. Put a matte clear coat on there. I just taped up the handle. It was really, I was going to do rope and tie rope around it nice and tight. The handle's in pretty rough shape. Leather was cracked. You can see where it was dropped on the bottom there. I banged it mostly out. The whole bottom was caved in. So I got that pretty straight. This whole top area, you can see right at the lower support there, there's a little kink in the front. That whole top area is almost pushed into the draw. So it came out pretty good. Have a little dent right in the front. But we got that done. The hardware came out pretty good considering how rusty it was. So inside came out nice up top. I did a very thick padded felt on the very top because I just like how thick it is, how padded it is because that's usually where you put your heavier stuff. And all the drawers. This one, the black thin felt. This one I cut a little short. I have some more felt going. So if I get energetic and it bothers me, I'll cut another piece. But the rest I did pretty good on. what I had to have a seam because it's so long and the back was a little short so I might cut cut the back down put a strip across the back to make it just look better and of course I just ran out of felt so I'm waiting for some more to come do the bottom draw I attempted to go with the thicker felt down there but that little quarter inch might make a difference so a couple little pieces of the trim this drawer is a little bent, as you can see. I tried straightening it out, but that's as best as I can get. So the line right there is not perfect. But that's the candy box. Uh, basically, you know, I can say I got the box for free because I bought it with a lot of tools. So that was just thrown in there. And I uh, have $15 worth of paint and... 10 bucks worth of felt. So, not bad. So, I'll bring you back if there's, you know, when I finish the felt up, I'll just show you that. And other than that, I'll bring you back when I fill it up. Okay, the candy box restoration is almost complete. Brought it back upstairs to the upstairs shop. Yeah, I was comparing it to my other box, and now I'm gonna have to paint this one too. This one I did refelt. This is the felt I had left over that I used until I ran out. So I refelted this one many years ago. So. have to probably empty out this box and uh, just do a quick sand and spray. I'm not gonna keep on getting caught on my bench here. I'm not gonna go crazy with it. There's not that much rust. The top is the worst. You can see most of the paint is missing. You know, wore away the textured part of it. So, I think I'll basically just give it a quick cleaning, sanding, and spray it. You know, see if I can get, get it looking the same. You know, it's different handles and everything. But, uh, 
you know, it's basically the co you know, an imitation copy of the box, just different generation. So this one is, like I say, I want to still cover up the the back, cut some, once I get some more felt, I'll do some upper strips like I did on that one. You can see the, the line. But I look at it, once the tools are in the box, you don't really see the felt, especially the back of it. So I'm happy with how the little jaws came out. Probably the last one you can tell. The more you, the more you do, the better you get at them. <laughs> the big one didn't come out that bad. So, and the guides are so nice once you take out the drawers and clean the guides. It's like effortless. You know, this one you can tell the difference, and it has different style guides. These are the newer style. So, I'll take this all, I'll empty it, take it all apart, end up painting it, oh, what, at least I know how much paint it takes now, it took me three cans to do this one, and I had to really cover it because I had the primer coat, this one, I'll basically sand and spray right over the paint, so it should, you know, three should cover it, no problem. So that's my next project. Looking pretty good. And then get real energetic. That's where the other box sits. You know, I might just spray that one brown to you know match it. That's only a small little box. I could find that the box could fit on top. I just place it on top there. So all the other boxes are too deep and sticks out too far. So that little cheeky box came in handy for that. So I might redo that one brown and make it all match. And that's where we end up today. I'll bring you back when I do some more. Alright, finally got the rest of the felt in. Good old Amazon 12-pack of square felt. will deliver the next day. Whatever the new manufacturer is, is the glue stinks. Oh my god, it's so powerful. But it was worth it. So what I ended up doing is I ended up felting underneath the draw, you know, where the cover usually goes. That looked ugly sitting there. So I said, hey, got extra felt. Nice little detail you can see, like on the other box, how shitty it looks. I'm sure that'll look pretty bad once it gets dirty. But I can just peel it out and replace it. So, I ended up getting the bomb dry felted. And all the draws. And I'm doing all the back of the draws. This one's still a little crooked, but hey, once you hit the adhesive, it stays. When I fix that one, open, open the top here. And I end up doing black up top too, because I had it. So, all the draws done. So, not bad. So basically, this box I got with the all the tool deal I got. So whatever I can set the box basically free, but say 20, 30 bucks if you want it. Put a dollar value on it for the score I got. Uh, Fifteen dollars for the paint, uh, ten bucks for the felt, and we got a pretty nice box. This box I got, I got probably fifteen years ago. I never painted it. I refelt, I refelted it many years ago. I showed that in another video, but I'm probably gonna be redoing that box because I like the look of this brown. I really do. So, I know it's not original color, but this one's beat up. The tops are really bad. I mean, this area is missing, like, the touch of paint all the way. All that is the brown underneath of it. So, that was the original owner many, many years ago. I remember buying this at a estate sale. 
got that bandsaw from the estate sale and a few other tools that I have laying around still. I bought everything they had in the basement. I just picked up this today at an auction. Well, it was like a warehouse type deal. They mock everything, but you make, if I bought this, the power suppressor and a couple of little doodads for 10 bucks for everything, so I call that a pretty good deal. It's some sort of power supply I haven't even tested yet. So I'll figure it out. I'll hook a meat up to it, plug it in, and see what it does. But there's the toolbox, all done. And uh, I ordered the paint for this one already. I just ordered it, so I'll have to do it now. I own the paint. So I'll talk to you later. Have a good night. I continue watching the fights are on.